Good morning, Internet. Uh, we moved from a house that had soft closed doors and cabinets to a house that we built that the builder refused to put soft clothes in for us. No option available, he said. So over the last five years, I've been looking for a way to make soft clothes drawers and cabinets for a reasonable price. The uh, cabinets we have in here, the, there are about 50 in our house, uh, 35 in the kitchen, and then in the bathrooms and in the bookshelf, we have about 50 cabinets that we want to make soft clothes. So a friend of mine told me about the Blue Motion system, which I'll get you the number for it. It is Blue Motion R7037. So I bought a box of 50 Blue Motion, and what it comes with is one soft clothes stainless steel brush nickel or something and then a spacer and on my cabinets i need to use the spacer and let me show you how this works so this will go into your opening and the drawer will push on that slowly and then when you open it, it pops open real quick, but it slowly closes, which is a real nice touch on a house. So let's get started on how you fix one of these. So I've got the, the uh, soft close and I've got the spacer. And what you wanna do, there's two sides to the spacer. So this piece that's sticking out goes into the soft close unit and we'll snap it in and what I like to do is take my screwdriver, I've got a Phillips head, and just tap it, make sure it's flush back here, and that it's tight against the unit. And then you take a screw, they give you a bag with short screws and long screws. If I'm using the spacer, I have to use the long screw. And, okay, well there it is. There's a long screw. And it always goes into the metal side, not the plastic spacer. And I've got a Phillips head screwdriver with a Phillips head screw. And what I'll do is I'll take my drill, which I have a 7 64th drill bit. You can also use a 3 30 seconds, but it's a small drill bit that's smaller than the screw. And I'll drill a pilot hole. If not, you risk the potential of uh, damaging the wood, cracking the wood. So I always score it, then I drill it, and then I screw it in. And let's go figure out how to do that. So I'm here at the first cabinet. And we'll put a soft close in. I'll stick it in this one. So the first thing I want to do is take my soft close unit, put the screw into it, Get the Phillips head ready, and then I'm gonna install it flush with the cabinet. And then I'm gonna score it, the cabinet, with the screw. And the reason why I do that is I wanna see where I need to drill, the hole that I need to drill in. So now that I've got the wood scored, I'm gonna turn my screwdriver on, my drill, Go right into that spot and we'll put it flush up against here so it's as straight as I can get it in. And then I'm gonna drill a long hole in it. And that should allow me to put this into here. But before I do, there is adjust it so I'm gonna do four turns, one, two, three, four, so that it closes a little bit faster. If you leave it all the way out, this piece sticks out too far and it, it comes to about right here and then slowly goes in. I want it to come in about here and slowly go in. So anyway, I've got my screw in. I'm gonna put it up against, against the uh, wood flush. There it is. And I'm gonna start screwing and I'm gonna hold it really tight 
as I twist it. And because it's so close to the wood at the top, I have to be very careful not to strip it, but I'm pressing in as I'm turning it. And this just takes a minute. We're almost there. A couple more screw turns and you'll feel it tighten up and you don't want to over tighten it. If you do that, you might strip it out. There you go. So now I've got the piece in and I'm gonna shut the door and you can see how smoothly it closes. You have to wait a second for this to pop out, but then once you put it in. So that's how you do the, that's how you install it. And I've got 49 more to go. Um, let me just, I bought them at Amazon. The Blue Motion was 54, I think it was $175. You can go on um, the internet and find them cheaper but I went ahead and got them through Amazon because I have Prime with free shipping. So it worked out about the same. But um, let me give you a nice wireless drill, Phillips head screwdriver, and you want to get a small one so that you can turn it up against the wood easier. And I also have a LED light that I use so I can see better. But I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks.